welcome everyone to our webinar entitled Easy Short-Term Orthodontics for the General Dentist. Many of you know me, but some of you don't. So just a very brief resume about myself. I graduated from the University of Pennsylvania doing my postgraduate orthodontic degree in 1990. So I'm now 30 years into orthodontic practice. I've completed about 10,000 orthodontic cases. And I've been very, very interested in continuing education for the general dentist. I founded the Seattle Study Club that many of you would know, as well as the New Horizons Study Club as well. I suppose my claim to fame was I was the first practitioner outside of the United States to perform any Invisalign treatment. And in fact, I was the one who brought Invisalign to the shores of Australia back in 1999. Obviously, I'm a member of many different societies, but I have a great passion for teaching, hence the webinar right now. So in this webinar, we're going to be dealing with short-term fixed orthodontics and demonstrate that this can be managed by any general dentist. And as a result, each dentist can provide predictable, efficient, fast, and most importantly, high-quality results. In this webinar, we're going to discuss how and why a general dentist can easily perform short-term orthodontics with very little training. We're going to talk about the game-changing short-term orthodontic aligner hybrid system. Many of you are asking, how do I choose the best short-term orthodontic system? And we'll go through that as well. And towards the end of this webinar, I'm going to provide you with five simple strategies to market short-term orthodontics in your practice and differentiate your practice from your competitors. So short-term orthodontics is the most efficient and predictable cosmetic orthodontic solution available. And it provides your patients with a significant improvement in dental alignment in a short period of time. I'm going to repeat that because it's really important that I manage your expectations and you manage your patient's expectations as well. So short-term orthodontics provides patients with a significant improvement in their dental alignment in a short period of time. So why would you choose a short-term orthodontic system? Because what you want to do is give your patients a great natural smile. And short-term orthodontics allows for cosmetic correction of front teeth without occlusal damage or significant occlusal change. But it's really important to realise that the goal of short-term orthodontics is not skeletal and occlusal perfection as if we were doing a two-year full-on orthodontic approach. But the goal is to provide a great natural smile in a short period of time. It's faster and hence more affordable, and that means more patience for you. A total win-win situation for everyone. And you're probably sitting there going, why do I need short-term orthodontics in my practice? Because at the end of the day, you want to give patients what they want. And patients want straight teeth and a beautiful smile. This is what cosmetic dentistry is all about. There are very few patients who come to you and say, doctor, please do a root filling on my lower right six, or please do an implant for my missing lower right seven. They come in because they want straight teeth and a beautiful smile. They want a cosmetic improvement. If you go back 60 years ago, all we did was extractions or root fillings or whatever it be for functional reasons, get people out of pain. Now. The whole tide has changed and we're in this cosmetic era. So we need to give patients what they want, which is straight teeth and a beautiful smile. As a dentist, though, we know there's a difference between patients' needs and patients' wants. Every patient needs healthy, functioning teeth. And it's important as a professional that we provide that to our patients. So we have to do their cleans. We have to make sure that they're dentally fit. We have to make sure the perio is fine. 
that there's no caries, etc. But once we've addressed all of that, then we need to address what they really want, which is straight teeth and a beautiful smile, because that's what they normally have come in to see you for. And short-term orthodontics meets this demand. And I can guarantee you, it builds your practice. So why would you offer short-term orthodontics? Because it's basically a six to nine month procedure that patients want. And one of the things that we do know, and everybody's experienced it, patients will find a way to pay for what they want. We've all had patients who have cancelled appointments because they can't afford treatment because they're going overseas. We've all had patients who've come in and said, I don't have enough money to, to have your treatment, but they've got their latest iPhone that they just paid $1,200 for. And we are no different. We will always find a way to pay for what we want. So this is a procedure that patients want. They will find a way to pay for it. <clears throat> and the benefits to you and your practice is, one, it's going to give you a great influx of new patients by offering these, this procedure. And obviously, as a result of that, you're going to increase your orthodontic starts. But as a byproduct, you're going to get far more cosmetic dentistry procedures from these cosmetically oriented or cosmetically aware patients. And obviously, general dental procedures such as endo, scale and cleans, etc., etc. So it dramatically increases all of your business as part of it. And at the end of the day, it will build your business because you're going to drive more cosmetically oriented patients into your practice, which as we know, are the best type of patients. And if you do this in the right way, we can reduce and delegate your unprofitable procedures. And the one great thing about Smile Fast, as most orthodontics, is that we can delegate 95% of that to our auxiliaries, such as our hygienists or therapists, which make it very, very profitable. <clears throat> And as I'm going to show you later on, there's a great deal of profit in there, even in your own hands, to increase your hourly profitability, obviously increase your gross and net income. But I think two of the most important parts of it are, one is going to differentiate your practice, which is the name of the game in today's competitive market. And for most of you, dentistry can become a little bit boring. And by bringing orthodontics into it, you will achieve greater dental satisfaction because your patients are going to love you for what you do. <clears throat> so short-term orthodontics is a treatment patients want and I believe it's the benefits that most dentists are looking for. So the question is, what's the best short-term orthodontic system? And yes, I'm biased, but I'm going to show you why I'm biased. And Smile Fast is without doubt today the best system, and we'll go through why. One of the reasons to, is it's a complete system from first contact all the way to fee presentation. And it will include the diagnosis, the bracket placement, the monthly visits, the D-band, the retention. We will teach you everything about that. But one thing I've got to make very clear is we are not changing occlusal schemes. And as such, Smile Fast is purely designed for adults and primarily for cosmetic treatment. Having said that, all the principles that we talk about are still applicable for children. However, the difference is here, we're only looking at treating adults for cosmetic treatment. So if, the, if it's a child who's 12 or 13 years of age and with a class two malocclusion, I would prefer to treat that patient with full-on orthodontics, get their occlusion absolutely perfect, because I don't know what the future will bring. In other words, I don't know if that class two malocclusion with some mild overjet, deep overbite, etc., will cause TMJ problems or where in the future. The difference with an adult is we know what their occlusion is like today. And we know if we don't change it, we're not causing any problems. And you may be sitting there going, oh, well, but I ask you the question, do you look at that occlusion when you do veneers? You don't change the occlusion. You're just doing veneers to provide a cosmetic solution. So what we're doing with Smile Fast is providing that cosmetic solution more naturally. 
So let's be very clear. Smile Fast is purely for adults and primarily for cosmetic treatment, but the principles are the same in all orthodontic therapy. So you could, you're probably sitting there going, ah, oh, Jeff, but you're an orthodontist, etc." Well, do you need to be an orthodontist? No, not at all. So I'm just going to run through some cases that have been completed by our Smile Fast doctors who are all general dentists and they had no previous orthodontic experience. Just to give you an idea what has been achieved by them, not by me. So here we are with some crowding, some crowded upper and lower teeth. And within six months, the teeth were straight. These were all cases performed by small fast dentists with two days of training. So sorry, I tell a lie, it was seven months of treatment. And the bot has opened significant improvement in the anterior alignment. So here we are with some spacing, six months of treatment. Here we are with a deep bite, very deep bite, significantly retroclined upper incisors, unesthetic appearance, significant improvement in seven months. And one of the things that we're going to talk to you about is bracket placement. And we have a digital bracket solution, a digital indirect bonding bracket solution, I might add, which makes bracket placement very, very easy and very predictable. So here we are with a class three patient treated with Smile Fast, okay, eight months of treatment. Significant improvement in the anterior appearance. Here we are, well, initially, this is a very straightforward case, could have been done with aligners, I might add, and we'll talk about that at the very end as well. So six months of treatment, space is closed, bonded retainers in place. Patient exceptionally happy, so too the dentist. Very profitable. So here we are with some overjet, some little bit of spacing, some irregularity in the upper and lower anterior region. This is showing the bracket positioning prior, the bracket positioning with the indirect bonding. And on the left of the screen, on your left of your screen, it shows the anticipated result once the wires have fully expressed themselves. And in seven months, we've got a pretty good result, which mimics very closely to what we anticipated with our indirect bonding setup. So a more severe case, so it's quite significant crowding. And I ask you the question, how would you consider doing veneers on this patient? You'd have to cut back these teeth to a significant amount. But with an indirect bonding system and being taught the right mechanics, this patient was treated in about eight months of treatment in exceptionally happy, in fact, life-changingly happy. So seven months of treatment. That's a pretty amazing result that was done by a dentist who had done two days of training and never done orthodontics before. A much more severe case, obviously. And this case was going to be a combined orthodontic case with restorative dentistry. So that you can use this as a great pre-restorative option. Because once again, how would you restore this case with veneers or crowns or whatever it be without aligning the teeth first to a significant degree? So here we are with the bracket positioning that we expected. We took out one lower incisor tooth to help alleviate the crowding and we've aligned the teeth and now the dentist can go ahead and do their cosmetic veneers with minimal preparation and what I call very ethical dentistry. So not a bad result in six months. Ready now for really good cosmetic work. So when you compare Smile Fast, which is using fixed braces, and we'll talk about the types of braces in a minute, to, al to aligners, and I'm going to show you later on that the profit, the profit with using a fixed braces system is far better than with aligners. Okay. And you've got a digital setup, it's more accurate, etc., etc. And obviously when you compare it to veneers, veneers are great, but veneers are a very destructive form of dentistry. And I think 
we always have to plan our patience as to what would you like done if it was a member of your family, a member, one of your loved ones. And I think most of us are into this area and realm of non-destructive dentistry. So short-term orthodontics provides that for you. We can line the teeth, and even if we need to do veneers or cosmetic work, it can be absolutely minimal rather than cutting back teeth to a significant degree that we had to do 25, 30 years ago before these options were available to us. So there are concerns with other cosmetic treatments. Aligners can take too long in treatment. There are too many visits. It can be too expensive and some movements are unpredictable, but we'll talk about that later as well. Veneers can be invasive, invasive, costly, sometimes not permanent, but minimal veneers are much better than cutting down the teeth significantly. We would all agree with that. And traditional braces, how many adults want to be in treatment for two years and it lacks the digital accuracy? And then you can do bonded composite, which is a little bit like veneers, but it's not natural, not permanent, discolours, doesn't last long, etc. So how many of you have had patients come to you, you've referred them off to an orthodontist and they've decided not to go ahead with orthodontic treatment? And that is probably the norm because there are barriers to adult orthodontic therapy. And the barriers are time, cost, appearance, and then throw in extractions, throw in surgery, and very few adults will go ahead and have conventional orthodontic treatment. And in fact, in my practice, I did a survey of 500 patients, 500 adult patients who went ahead with treatment. Now, I don't know the patients who didn't go ahead, but I offer every patient the ideal treatment. I offer every patient, every this is every adult patient, the ideal treatment, whether it be two years, braces, surgery, etc., whatever it be. I also offer them a short-term orthodontic solution if it's applicable, which in my hands is, it is in 90% of patients, and I offer them a line of therapy as well. And most people are going to sit there and go, you know, it's appearance that's the main thing for adults. No, it's not. It's time. Time was the biggest factor in their decision. 90% of our patients chose SmileFast, 5% chose a line of treatment, and 5% chose the ideal, as in the two-year full-on braces approach. And I must say, after doing this survey of 500 patients and going back to them, time was the biggest factor. There is a psychological barrier for patients of 12 months. So if you can do the treatment in under 12 months, they are very happy. If they can get it done this time next year, they're happy. That's a psychological barrier. Now, we have geographical barriers in, in Melbourne where people won't go past Dandenong Road, for example. And there are psychological barriers with regards to time. And my feeling, I haven't proven it, but my feeling is 12 months is this psychological barrier. I look forward to hearing your feedback with your patients. But today, there is no doubt in my mind you must be offering cosmetic orthodontics if you want to be competitive in today's market. You've got no choice. Otherwise, these patients are going to go off to your competitors. They won't come to see you in the first place. So you have to be offering cosmetic orthodontics. It, to me, it's a given. So in order to be offering any type of orthodontic therapy, you need to understand the keys to orthodontic treatment. And there are really three keys. One, diagnosis. Which cases to treat and which not to treat. Two is once we've done that, then how do we position the brackets to get the wires to do their work? And three, we need to teach you some mechanics, just how to move teeth efficiently. And we go through all of that stuff in the Smile Fast course. But let's go through this in a bit more detail. Because there is an 80-20 rule. We've all heard about it. It applies to everything in life. But you can treat 80% of your patients very easily. It's knowing which 20% not to treat. That's the key. And, we, and I, I'm sure if you're like me, you want to know that before you start. And that's what we're going to teach you. But more importantly, 
We're going to teach this through comprehensive orthodontic training as part of it. But you've got a backup here. You've got an online case submission portal. So what happens here after we've been taught you and we guide you through it, we have our portal. And we will guide you through that portal. I'm going to show you that in a second, where we will accept or reject a case because I'm not going to allow you to get into any problems. So I would rather reject a case and make sure you have no problems. But we're going to treat the 80%, which are very easy. Then we have to talk about bracket placement and mechanics. So in bracket placement, as I said to you before, we have a digital indirect bonding solution. So we can place the brackets in the digital world. And through that, we can actually see how the wires are going to move those teeth and we can alter the bracket position accordingly to get the desired end result. And this is 95% accurate. Unfortunately, nothing is 100% accurate, but it's 95% accurate. So now we know that the brackets will be on in this position here to achieve this end desired result. And we can move the brackets if we need to, to make adjustments to how the teeth are going to move. So we can see the result before and after. And we can see the change in the arch form that we anticipate. So we're now working in the digital world where all of our experimentation is done in the digital world and not on the patient. So let's just show you routinely cases that can be treated after a two day smile fast course. So I'm just gonna run through this very quickly, but deep bites. Crowded cases, and you can see on the screen, six months to nine months worth of treatment. Yeah. A case with a severe overbite and overjet on the left, eight months of treatment. Patient with a class two, division two, where we've aligned the teeth, and yes, we've left them with overjet. We haven't changed their existing posterior occlusion, but done in six months. Can you imagine trying to place veneers on those retruded upper central incisors? Can you imagine how thick they would be? What about the patient on the right? Seven months of treatment. Now, this can be life-changing for these patients. Patient with an anterior crossbite involving the 22, nine months of treatment. Significant upper crowding. And if you, if you look at the one in the middle, we had a situation where there was a thick veneer on that tooth. So the dentist wanted to, do, to replace that with a very thin veneer, so we realigned the tooth, the teeth in the upper arch only, and went ahead and then to do a minimal veneer on the 2-1. Eight months of treatment on the right-hand side. And this is all routine. Deep bite, six months of treatment. We can level gingival margins by intruding teeth, etc. This is that case again where we just did that one, the upper arch, and we aligned the teeth to allow for a very minimal veneer on the 2-1. Significant crowding, eight months of treatment. All done with our small, fast, short-term orthodontic approach. Severe lower crowding. And there's a fallacy out there that don't worry about lower teeth. And the fallacy is that as we get older, as we get older, we start to see more of our lower teeth than we do of our, of our upper teeth. So if you've got elderly parents like myself, all you will see is their lower teeth. And we've had an influx of patients, probably in their 50s, early 60s, come in wanting their lower teeth fixed. Not their upper teeth, their lower teeth, because that's what people see. So just keep bear that in mind. So 10 months of treatment. This was a much more difficult case, but still done within that 12-month time frame. So... The benefits of smile fast or a short-term orthodontic system to your practice is obviously making patients happy, but you're going to ask, well, is it profitable? So I'm going to show you the chair side time for an average smile fast case is about five and a half hours, and we've broken it down. So an hour and a half for the banding, an hour for the bonding, three hours for six adjustment visits. Remember, most of this can be delegated to the hygienist. In fact, if you've got a hygienist or a therapist, 
your doctor time is only going to be one hour. So seven to ten patient appointments, three to five hours of total chairside time, but one hour of total doctor time. Six to nine months average treatment. But I'm going to show you the figures even if you want to do it all yourself and you don't want to delegate it out. So let's say you charge a fee of about $6,000 and that's probably about the average of what most of our clients would charge. And, and the Smile Fast material is about $12.99. Okay, so the gross profit is about $4,700. So if you look at it, if you look at it from the point of view of um, six, the gross fee, that's $1,090 per hour. Now I've actually, we, in the second part where it says after cost, I've actually also included in there the retainers. So after cost, you're going to make $4,500, which is $818 per hour. Now, $1,090 per hour for you to do it yourself is not bad. I'm sure that equates very much into your Crown and Bridge work, if not even more so. So when you want to compare it to a line of therapy, and I've done all the figures on a line of therapy, because the problem with a line of therapy, it's unpredictable. And until you get to a really good knowledge level, which we're going to talk about later, it can take you a lot of time, a lot of refinements, etc., etc. And so what I'm trying to show here that small fast option is so much better from a profitability point of view than a line of treatment. So when you compare it, $1,090 compared to $607, but when you take away your lab fee, it's $818 for small fast compared to $378 for a line of therapy per hour because the line of therapy has such a large lab bill. And basically, you can increase your profit by about $7,000 a month if you do two cases. Now, that's $84. Thousand dollars per year. That's a pretty significant increase in profit, and it's very easy to achieve that. It doesn't take up much of your time. So, at the end of the day, I can sit here and say to you, Small Fast is extremely profitable. In fact, it's probably the most profitable part of my orthodontic practice, in all honesty. But remember, short term orthodontics is not a replacement for comprehensive orthodontics. You still have to give patients the ideal treatment plan, always. And we want you to pick the low-lying fruit, that 80%, which is easy, not the 20%, which is difficult. And as I'm talking to you now, you've got to understand it's designed mainly for adults, not for children. But the principles remain the same. And always, if you're not sure... Refer them. Ask for advice. It doesn't matter. You, you don't have to keep every patient in your practice. You only want to keep the patients that you want to keep in your practice, the ones which, who are nice, the ones who are easy, the ones who are profitable. That's what specialists are for, for the difficult patients. So let's run through a case very quickly just to show you how it works. So Rebecca comes in to see me. And she's worried about the appearance of her upper teeth. And you look at her and she's got a class two skeletal relationship with a deficient chin. She's got a class two division two appearance, crowded upper and lower teeth, deep, deep overbite and retrusive upper incisors. When you look at the CEF, that would also tell you she's a class two skeletal. Okay, APG just shows some, some issues with the 1828 and 48 but otherwise no abnormalities. And we do do a CEF, we do do a CEF analysis. It's a very basic CEF analysis, but it's designed to confirm our clinical findings. And we're one of the only systems, in fact, I think we are the only short-term orthodontic system that does a CEF analysis. And that's what you need just from a medico-legal point of view. And we can do that for you, okay? But we will show you how to do it. We have a 3D viewer, we've we set up the teeth. Now, just to go back a stage, that patient came to see me after the four orthodontic opinions, and they gave the options of, we'll do braces and orthodontic surgery, we'll do braces or extractions of the upper first premolars, 
both of which are fine. They're, they're the ideal option and no doubt about it. But the patient didn't want that. She went to a general dentist. The general dentist said, we can do veneers on those upper anterior teeth. She didn't want that. What she wanted was a cosmetic solution with minimal tooth destruction. So we, we, did, the, we did the digital setup. We, we saw the bracket positioning. And then we, go, then we went ahead and we're going to put the brackets on. But before we do that, in every case, we will teach you about the diagnostic criteria. And that's part of the training. So every patient, you will go through this diagnostic criteria, which looks overwhelming. But I can assure you within a day and a half, it becomes second nature to you. It is very, very basic, but we have to train you. And then once we've done the diagnosis, we have to formulate a treatment plan and we go through a logical process of looking at each aspect to formulate the treatment plan. And obviously, as you see at the top of that page, first question is going to be, are we going to treat or not treat? And if we're going to treat, we then go through the rest of that criteria. So then we have an indirect bonding. So those brackets that you saw in the digital model have been transferred into a tray like a bleaching tray. So if you guys can etch and bond teeth and seat a bleaching tray, you can do indirect bonding. Because all we're going to do is etch and bond, place a bit of flowable composite on the back of the brackets, hold the tray in, and your assistant cures it with light. So my chair side time to do one of these indirect bondings is three minutes. One and a half minutes for the upper arch to hold the tray, one and a half minutes for the lower arch to hold the tray. That's all it is. And then day one, we go ahead and put the first, we do the indirect bonding, we show you how to put the wires in. So this is in January 2013, first wire. A month later, we put some second wires in and we go, we'll show, this is all the mechanics that we need to teach you. Very, very easy. We need to do a little bit of IPR to get some space. The two months in, two months into treatment, so this is month three. We started month three. We, we put thicker wires in. The teeth are straightening up all the way through. Four months in, you can see how much, how much straighter those teeth are. Five months in, look how straight they are after five months. And here we are after six months, look at the improvement in her appearance. Is this a, look at the difference in the smile. We've done this in six months of a smile fast approach. And all we did, an indirect bonding and we changed the wires. The only thing that I did in this with for this patient was hold the trays in for a minute and a half and did a little bit of IPR. The rest I delegated, the whole procedure I delegated. So six months, yes, I left her with some overjet, but she had a class two buck relationship anyway. There is no, provided the teeth aren't proclined, you can leave people with overjet. There is nothing wrong with that, Not, especially as an adult. As a child, I want to give them a perfect occlusal scheme because I don't know if I if I didn't do a, a, sorry if I didn't get perfection in a child, I don't know what the ramifications will be in the future. But an adult, I already know we're not changing the buccal occlusion in any way whatsoever. So six months of treatment, you can see the improvement in the alignment of those teeth. And. I can safely say anyone can achieve these results after we train you in our Smile Fast Pro training and with our systems and our support. Anyone. I've proved that at the beginning of this webinar. So why Smile Fast Superior? Let's we'll run through this very quickly. Because independently, you need to decide how do you choose your short-term orthodontic provider? And the way, what you have to ask yourself is, do they have an indirect bonding technique? Because that's a hard part, learning how to put brackets on. And if so, is it a digital process or is it a manual process? Because a digital process is far more accurate. Who's going to support you? The type of support, is it through a forum or is it directly with the dentist or orthodontist? What's the scope of treatment that you can do? Who trains you? Is it a general dentist? Is it an orthodontist? The cost of the system. And then you would ask yourself, is this system that you're going to get involved in willing to innovate? Or are they going to stay the same? 
because you need innovation as things change in the marketplace. So, personally, I think you need to be trained by a specialist and trained in sound orthodontic principles. You need to have good treatment su support by qualified practitioners, not through a forum where you've got the blind lean the blind, everybody gives you an opinion, you need the right opinion. And you need really good laboratory, doctor and patient communication so you get the end result that you want. And I, and I mentioned this previously, we have a secure portal. And so you can submit case on the portal, but we will only allow the appropriate cases to be treated. So I will reject cases because at the end of the day, I want to protect you. Okay? If you go to a line of companies or, or other companies like that, they'll just put every case through because at the end of the day, it is your responsibility. You sign off on it. For me, I want to be doing the right thing by you. So I'm only going to allow you to do cases that are easy to start off with as your experience and confidence grows, then we can, we can do the more difficult cases. So you need to have ongoing learning and case support, which is what we do through our portal. So you can put photos on and we can have communication and you've always got contact with us. But one of the keys is a digital indirect bonding solution. And that is key, the digital nature of the indirect bonding solution. So you can view it on the screen. We can make changes to it. We can see what's going to happen before we put in the patient's mouth. Not a manual system where you get the brackets in the tray and you wouldn't have a clue where the brackets are positioned. You don't know who's done it. And that way we can then see within 95% accuracy of where the teeth are going to line up based on a straight wire approach. So why are we unique? Well, one, we're going to train you in comprehensive orthodontic training. So we're not just going to teach you about tying in the wires. We're going to teach you some mechanics. We're going to teach you all about orthodontics as well with diagnosis, etc. We have our unique online secure web-based portal. We have a unique digital indirect bonding system. And we've got the mentorship and support that we provide. And we're basically very innovative, as I'm going to show you. But when you evaluate systems, one of the things you've got to ask yourself, ask, the, ask about the system, do they, do they want intraoral or extraoral photographs for diagnosis? If they don't, don't use them. A system that does not use cephalometrics to confirm the diagnosis. That's essential from a medico-legal point of view. A system that doesn't have an orthodontist determining if the case is suitable. Once again, a medico-legal problem. A system where ongoing support is provided by other dentists with minimal experience. That's the problem with forums. You don't know who's giving you the support. And then we've got the manual indirect bonding system where labs use a technician or a layperson to place the brackets. And you've got no idea of what that eventual outcome will be. No different to you getting aligners without a digital setup. And you get the aligners that are just sitting in a bag of water. Yes. How many people would accept a crown that just comes to you in a bag of water and you've got no idea if that crown's going to fit or not? That's what manual indirect bonding is like. And with litigation, the way it's going, if you get into an issue with authorities and or my specialist orthodontic colleagues, who will be there to defend you? Who would you like to defend you? A general dentist from the States or a specialist USA trained orthodontist? Because I, if you do it the way I'm going to suggest, we will be there to defend you all the way. So we've talked about the online portal already. And as a summary, SmileFast is a total support system for the doctor, case by case. And you've got the ability to download photos at each visit, ask any questions about the case. These will be answered by fully trained practitioners and fully overseen by our group of specialist orthodontists, ensuring that you as the doctor will learn very quickly 
and the skill level be accelerated. There's no software to be purchased as our portal is accessible on any Windows-based computer. So, in our training, we, we give you nine hours of pre-course videos, which we won't go through now, but it goes through a whole gamut to get you up to a really basic level. So we talk about the basics of orthodontic brackets, wires. So we want you to get as much knowledge as you can before we even have our face-to-face -face course. And then in our face-to-face two-day program, we go through all of this. We go through the correct diagnosis, the key treatment steps. But in that diagnosis, which cases to treat, which not to treat, and why? We give you in-depth training on brackets, arch wires, tooth movement. We talk about direct bonding as well as digital indirect bonding. We talk how, how do we manage crowding, spacing, deep bites, rotations, which are 80% of orthodontic problems. We're going to talk about the tools and technologies that you need to master. And we have a hands-on component. But there's so much more in, in there. We talk about troubleshooting. And we basically supply you all the materials, all the lecture slides on, on PDF, before and, after, before and after photo albums, marketing material for your practice, all the materials that you need for our hands-on, the hands-on component for the course. So you get everything. So let's talk to you very quickly about the hybrid system because I think this is a bit of a game changer. Because most dentists have difficulty with fixed appliance in the finishing and the detailing. That's the hard part. So what can we do? Well, the best possible hybrid system is fixed braces followed by finishing aligners because we can get all the difficult movements out with the fixed braces, like the extrusions of teeth, the rotations, all those parts which are very difficult to do with aligners, but aligners are great for the very small rotations, the little in-out movements, which require a lot more skill with regards to the fixed braces. So we've developed our hybrid system. And we use the software through Smile Styler because we can adjust the individual tooth velocities with that and it's cost effective. And it provides a much more predictable type of tooth movement. So to give you an example, here Karen comes in, she's got some crowded upper, upper and lower teeth, but she only wants treatment on the upper arch. So we go ahead, day one we put the braces on, so they're going to straighten up a little bit, etc, etc. But we take them, after the braces are off, there's still fine tuning to be done. And what's happened is that you can probably see in this transparency, and you can see it probably more accurately here, that the wires haven't done 100% of what we expected. Like I said, they're accurate to about 95%. So we can finish the, her off early, provided we've got rid of the extrusions and the significant rotations on those crowd on those on those curved teeth. So then we can go ahead and put some aligners in, and usually it's about six to eight aligners to finish off. So we put the aligners in. Remember, we've done nothing on the lower arch. This is purely upper treatment. And here we are with now a significant improvement in the upper cosmetic alignment. So when you compare it from the beginning, go back to the beginning for a second, from, from there, with a combination of our hybrid system, we've got a significant improvement. And this other patient comes in and some minor crowding of the upper and lower teeth. We've gone ahead and put some braces on, doing our smile fast approach. And in small fast, we only use clear braces because remember, the barrier, the, the three most important barriers to treatment are time, money, and appearance. So by using clear braces, we try to reduce that barrier of appearance. Time, we've got it down to under 12 months, usually six to nine months. And obviously the cost because of the, of the time factor is far less than if we were doing it with a line of therapy because we can afford to because our lab fee is much cheaper. So here we are. So this is where she finished with the braces. 
So not the, not a great result. And we thought, okay, this patient burnt out. Let's finish this off with aligners. So now we've got, the aligner, we've got the aligners in place and you can hardly see the aligners in the picture because they're so well fitting. And then we finished her off and she looks so much better. So with eight, eight aligners, all finished. So here we are before and after with a combination of six months worth of, of our smile fast approach and about eight aligners, which was another two months. So in total, about eight months of treatment. So to finish up, I'm going to give you five simple ways that don't really cost you to market short-term orthodontics. And you know what? This could be marketing anything in your practice, okay? So firstly, you need to obtain ambassadors from existing patients. So by that I mean you're going to find your patients, you're going to do the short-term orthodontics on, the, on them, and you're going to ask them for to be an ambassador, which means they're going to write you some reviews. They're going to be the conduit when patients, other patients are interested, they can go and call these particular patients. So you build up four or five ambassadors who can then start to be your mouthpiece. So whenever you've got a patient in the chair who's interested in orthodontics and maybe a little bit hesitant, they phone up one of your ambassadors. And then we go through a whole approach of how to obtain these ideal ambassadors because there's a whole technique involved in this. If you've got a practice newsletter, which I think is really important, incorporate information about that. Patients don't know what you offer. They just think you're a dentist. They don't know whether you do snoring appliances, bleaching. So it's really important that you tell the, your patients what's new, that you've been to a great course, blah, 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 because they trust you. So you need to have promotional material on the surgery, whether, whether it be brochures, etc., or what we think is really great today is Channel D, and we can give you information about Channel D, which is basically a, a package which is on your TV in the waiting room, which doesn't have any noise, but it's really well done, and it's been done by Michael Cernick, who used to be as part of Prime Practice. Really fantastic. You need to have before and after books in your waiting room, whether it be on cosmetic orthodontics or whether it be on crown and bridge work, work, implants, whatever it be. You've got to have people sitting there going, hey, you're fantastic, and ask, be able to ask you about those procedures. And then you need good website material to be able to promote this to the public. And we can provide you with all of the website material, the before and after book, the promotional material, and we can help you in your blog for your practice newsletter and definitely help you in an approach to obtain ambassadors from existing patients. And that ambassador approach is great, not just for short-term orthodontics, but any new product that you bring into your practice, whether it be bleaching, whether it be sleep apnea, etc. Okay, so we have a we have a small fast course uh, in 2020 in Sydney for January 31 to, and to February 1st, which I think is Friday Saturday. We also have a small fast course in Melbourne August 6th, August 7th, later in the year. But remember, short term orthodontics or small fast is easy. It's profitable. It'll build your business and it'll differentiate you. But it's not only a great technique in itself, I'm going to say to you, it's the best introduction to orthodontics. And it's great and an ideal foundation for further orthodontic learning. So that's really important. You do, if you do any short-term orthodontic course, it'll stand you in good stead to then go to the next level. And most of our clients who've done Smile Fast then go on and they want to do our full two-year mini master's program and learn the whole gamut of orthodontics. So, I've been very biased in this presentation on short-term orthodontics with fixed appliances. But clear aligner therapy is still a really important part of everyone's practice. You must be there doing it. And we actually, as I said, I was the first practitioner outside of the States to be doing Invisalign, 
and we still do a lot of clear aligner therapy. And we actually have a course in Adelaide on Thursday, Friday, the 21st, 22nd of November, dealing with the essentials of clear aligner therapy for predictable, efficient, profitable, and high quality outcomes. So we're gonna teach you all about the concept of biomechanics and how does it apply to aligners. And we're gonna talk about different types of, of attachments, how we do setups for crowding, for spacing cases, for deep bites, because this is where people go wrong. People expect that the setup you get back from the aligner company is right. It is so far from the truth. We have to modify every setup we do, but the, we will provide you with that knowledge. We're gonna talk about class two, class three cases, extraction cases, we're going to talk about what's realistic, what's not, what cases can be treated with aligners and what's better to be treated with fixed appliances. But I can assure you that if we can give you a lot of knowledge, you can treat a lot more cases with clear aligners than what you think. We'll go through more detail the aligner hybrid system and we're going to teach you all the fundamental principles of aligner setups, etc. Okay, including staging of treatment and how do you assess an aligner setup. And then we're going to talk about the clinical and administrative part of it as well, troubleshooting. We're going to talk about accelerated orthodontic techniques. And I'm going to compare the biased and unbiased evaluation of the different aligner systems. And we're going to talk about the business side, how to integrate it. And then we're going to teach you about marketing, just the essentials of marketing to drive patients in. And that's going to be worth it just by itself. So our aligner course is in Adelaide on November 21st and 22nd. We're nearly fully booked. So if you would like to register, please do so. I can assure you it's a great course. I'm doing this with my partner, Martin Poon. Um, and Martin is a diamond is a diamond provider of, of Invisalign. And between us, we've done thousands of cases of aligner therapy. So register for that at orthotraining.com.au. But if you want, you can do the whole mini masters. And I think Smile Fast is a great stepping stone for, the, for that. And our, denti our dentist clients have said why they've chosen us, because we're the most trusted and the most comprehensive program available. So in our mini masters, which is a two year program, and we have eight modules and we have an optional ninth staff training module. And we go through diagnosis, we go through straight wire mechanics, what I call conventional and unconventional. That's a four day program. So it's two lots of two days. We, we go through early orthodontic treatment. We go through our, our aligner therapy, which is the module that I just talked about. So that's an individual module in our mini masters program. But you can do that separately, like I just mentioned. We can talk about accelerated and aesthetic systems. We talk about lingual braces, everything you need to know. We go through advanced biomechanics. We go through management of severe dental and skeletal discrepancies, including orthodontic surgery, IDT, and management of difficult orthodontic malocclusions. So you will know the gamut of orthodontics from the very basic all the way through to the most severe extraction cases. And once again, we pride ourselves on the sound and comprehensive training. We do treatment planning exercises at each module, we do individual problem solving. We bring in guest lectures who are experts in their field. So we have Jesse Green, we have Kathy Metaxas, we have um, Andrew Dillon, who's a prostodontist, Michael, Michael Stubbs, who is a um, professor of oral medicine on TMJ and sleep apnea. We have Terence Alexander, who's a um, oral surgeon in, in, in Brisbane on orthodontic surgery. So we've got some of the really best of the best. We have hands-on components. I think it's out of out of the eight modules, six of them have hands-on components as well. So what do you get? You get you get so much and you can get a postgraduate diploma as well. But we give you 21 days of face-to-face. -face. We give you pre-course, post-course stuff, full recorded uh, sessions online, all complimentary, six evening webinars, you could go through and have a look at what, at what we do. But I can guarantee you it's the most comprehensive training program. And if you want to learn orthodontics, this is the way to do it. But 
I really, if you haven't done any orthodontics at all, I highly recommend the Smile Fast course as your stepping stone and then go into the OrthoEd because there's a lot of information in this OrthoEd program. You would be better than most orthodontists after our two-year program. So if you want to register or you want more information, go into orthotraining.com.au. And on that note, we have finished on time. So I thank you very much for your time tonight. And if you've got any questions at all with regards to short-term orthodontics, smile fast, aligner therapy, or interested in doing the whole gamut of orthodontics with the OrthoEd Institute, I'm happy to have a call at any time with you. So our numbers are there, one 427 or email me, jeff at orthoed.com.au. I'm happy to take questions. But my question computer has been turned off. Okay. Sorry? Okay. The question is, well, what's the cost for the indirect bonding for the brackets? For an upper and lower case, it's twelve ninety nine. For For one arch, it's $900. But bear in mind, what that includes is the digital setup. It includes the brackets and the indirect bonding tray. It in also includes a kit which has the basics of the arch wires that you that you need for the case, the elastics, the ligatures, the power chain. So basically 90% of what you would need for your case and it includes all the support for the case as well. So it's $12.99 for an upper and lower case and it's $900 for a one arch case, but it includes everything else in there as well. Any other questions? I can't see any other questions. I hope I I hope you've enjoyed the session. And please feel free to email me at any time or give us a call. And we'd be happy to answer any other other questions that you have and give you more information if you're interested. The main benefit of the two-year course is the fact that you can you can just about every patient that comes into your practice and has an orthodontic problem, you can advise them, you can diagnose them, and if you want to, you can actually treat them. And obviously the main aim is for you to treat most of them. But firstly, knowledge is power. So the more knowledge you have, the better you are as a dentist because you need that knowledge just for your occlu for your occlusion, etc. But most importantly, you can go ahead and treat all those patients as well, which provides you with what a great income stream and you stop losing patients to orthodontists and to your competitors. Okay, so do, do I need to attend the course before I order the indirect bonding? Um, yes, you, you, do, you do need to because we are there providing a total, a total service. Um, and we've had, pay, we've had clients who've done all these other courses, two-year programs, and they've, learned, they've all said how much they've learned even out of that two-day two Smile Fast course. So yes, we, yeah, you do need to do the course. To, uh, you either smile fast course or our ortho ed course and to be able to do the indirect bonding as well how much does it cost to do the smile fast course the cost for the smile fast course at the moment is fourteen hundred dollars for the two-day course if you sign up for the ortho ed program we um, give you a 50 percent discount for the smile fast course so if you sign up to the ortho ed 
two-year program, then we'll give you the Smile Fast one for $700. And we actually have hygienists come along to the Smile Fast one as well. So if you've got hygienists or therapists that want some training, the Smile Fast course is absolutely superb for that. So do we send the models or PVS impressions to scan? Either way, we um, if you've if you've got well, sorry. Either way, from the point of view, if you've got intraoral scanner, we can accept STL files. If not, you can send PVS impressions to us, and we can scan them in. And there's no extra cost for that at all. So Jennifer's asked, is there a high debonding rate with the brackets? Um, there is n there is no high debonding rate with debonding rate with those brackets as there is with any direct bonding system. And one of the things that we talk about in our smile fast is bite turbos because most deep bonds are in the lower arch and are really are usually related to the occlusion and biting on them. So we talk about bite turbos for so many different reasons. So, so I would say to you, no, there is no difference at all with regards to debonding rate at all. Let's just see if there's any other questions. I think I've answered all the questions. Remember in the OrthoEd program, you also have the opportunity of getting a postgraduate diploma as well, which gives you a lot more credibility with your patients. So just about everybody who's registered for our OrthoEd program for 2020 20, and 2021 have actually registered for the postgraduate diploma in orthodontics as well. So I highly recommend that as part of, there's no difference in the course structure for that, but there is assessments that you need to do. Uh, very easy assessments with multiple choice questions. There'll be an oral exam at the end, as well as you need to present two cases with a full treatment plan diagnosis. And those cases have to be 12 months into the treatment. Christy, thank you very much though, the very kind words. Okay. I think I've covered everything. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope that you got something out of it. And thank you very much for listening to me.